everybody. I hope I hope that you enjoy these educational videos. I know some of you do. Um, the next topic will be continuing on with um, the Bible and the LGBTQ community. This will be season nine of my educational videos. It's funny how I always put them in seasons, but I just thought it'd be kind of organized that way. You know what I mean? So yeah. Um, I'm going to read about the Bible. The Bible is a collection of writings which span more than a thousand years, recounting the history of God's relationship with the Hebrew and Christian people. It was written in several languages, embraces many literary forms, and reflects cultures very different from our own. These are important considerations for pro properly understanding the Bible in its context. There are vast differences in doctrines between various Christian denom denominations, all of which use the same Bible. Such differences have led some Christians to claim that other Christians are not really Christians at all. Biblical interpretations and theology differ from church to church. In my opinion, everybody's entitled to their own beliefs. So saying that you're not an actual Christian, that's not nice. Because everybody has their own beliefs, their own interpretation of the Bible. So yeah, they may be someone who's a religious freak. Or someone who is religious, but doesn't believe in every single thing of the Bible. This is on a completely different spectrum of religion. Biblical interp interpretation and theology also change from time to time. Approximately 150 years ago, in the United States, some Christian teaching held that there was a two-fold moral order, black and white. Whites were thought to be superior to blacks. Therefore, blacks were to be subservient, and slavery was an institution ordained by God. Clergy who supported such an apparent idea claimed the authority of the Bible. The conflict over slavery led to divisions which gave birth to some major Christian denominations. These same denominations, of course, do not support slavery today. Did the Bible change? No, the interpretation of the Bible did. So, I mean, in my opinion, it if you're going to say you're not a true Christian because of this or that, in my opinion, back in the slavery times, those white people who had slaves, they're not actual Christians. Because in my opinion, if there is such a thing as a Christian God, He will love everybody, no matter your, your skin color, or your religion, or your sexual orientation. It doesn't matter at all. So those white people are ignorant about the Bible. And now we probably have more Christians today than back then because we are trying to kill racism. We're trying to kill prejudice and bigot people. But at the same time, we have tons of people who are prejudiced, tons of people who are racist, tons of people who are bigots. And sooner or later, those kind of people will be wiped out and there'll be more people who accept for people who have what they are instead of the color of their skin or their sexual orientation. You know what I mean? So that's what I think about the Bible. That's what I read about the Bible. I'm not a Christian. I'm a Wiccan. But I just feel like making these biblical videos is important to have you guys understand about God's messages to us. And what I would understand too as a non-Christian. You know what I mean? So I hope you enjoyed that video. Bye now.